children god bless you you're welcome to our sunday school today thank you very much for tuning in we are going to have our lesson but before we do that can we close our eyes and have a word of prayer father jesus we thank you we bless you we worship you for giving us another opportunity to be in sunday school please come down and teach us the lesson bless our hearts and give us the faith that you gave to the people that we are learning about in this lesson thank you because we know you're gonna do it and even more than we ask for we pray in jesus name amen let us listen to song to be presented to us by our friends. today is a hole in the roof and the memory verse will be taken by our friend i would like you to read or recite the memory verse along with her after the count of three one two three and arise and take up the bread and go mark, mark two verse eleven our text for the lesson is Mark 2, 1 to 12, but we are going to read verse 1, 3 to 5, 11 and 12, and our friends Kingsford and Zara will be reading for us. If you have your Bibles, open and read along with us. God bless. Mark chapter 2, 1, 3, 4 and 5, and again he entered into Capernaum. After some days, it was noise that he was in the house. Three, and they come unto him, bringing one sick of the palsy, which was born of four. Four, and when they could not come nigh unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was. And when they had broken it up, they let down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy lay. Five, when Jesus saw their faith. He said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. Mark chapter 2, verse 11 to 12. 11. I say unto thee, Arise and take up thy bed, and go thy way into thine house. 12. And immediately he arose, 
took up the beds and went forth before them, all in so much that they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, We never saw it on this fashion. Let's watch this clip. Be encouraged, my child. Your sins are forgiven you. What is the meaning of this? Is it easier for me to tell this paralyzed man that his sins are forgiven, or to tell him to get up and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins, I say to you, arise, take up your bed, and go to your house. Jesus has power to do everything. Jesus was so amazed when he saw the faith of his friends. And immediately Jesus said to the man, Your sins have been forgiven. All the naughty things, maybe the lying, the stealing, all the bad things he may have done right from his youth. Jesus forgave him instantly. Wow. And the people around there, the Pharisees, some of them were angry and they began to think in their heart, who is Jesus to forgive sins? Oh, but Jesus told them, is it easier to ask the man to stand up, take his bed and go, or to forgive the sins of this man? For you to know that I am the son of God, and that I have the power to do everything. I'm going to ask this man to stand up and go with his bread. And Jesus turned to the man and said to him, Son, take up thy bread and go. And instantly, children, immediately, there was no waste of time. Strength came into the man. His hands were strong. Oh, he stood up and walked and took his bed and went away. Praise God. This was a man that was sick of palsy. You know what we talk about palsy? Someone that is paralyzed, part of his bones would have been very soft and weak that they couldn't move and his legs couldn't hold his body so he was always lying down but his friends believed in jesus and they took this man to jesus and jesus did not disappoint them jesus saw their faith and healed their friend those four friends were very helpful we can be helpful today by telling our friends about jesus by praying for them and by inviting them to church and God will bless us for doing that. There are so many things we may have learned from this lesson, children. Can you think one or two lessons that you have learned? I have learned something. One of the things I've learned in this lesson is that 
Jesus can do anything. And that Jesus is the son of God. He can forgive sins. He can also heal the physical body. Praise God. All the things we can learn from this lesson is to be helpful. The friends of this man knew that he wouldn't have been able to go to Jesus by himself. Why? Because he was so weak, he couldn't walk. So he needed help and his friends were kind enough to, to take him to Jesus and Jesus saw their faith and healed their friend. Another thing we can learn is that no matter the situation that we are, maybe some of us are sick today. You could have fever, you know, when you are shivering. You could have headache, your head may be aching you. Or it could be that you are finding it difficult to understand your maths, to solve some puzzles. Or maybe you have a wish in your mind to go to a beautiful place for holiday, but you don't have the means of doing that. If we pray today, Jesus is able to make all those possible. God wants us to trust and believe in him. And when we do that, whatever may be our circumstances, whatever may be our difficulties, Jesus will make them possible. He will change the situation and make everything good. You can imagine how the four friends felt. They were very happy, isn't it? Yes, and the man was also very happy. When you pray today and believe in Jesus, you'll be very happy that your sins will be forgiven and your sickness will be healed or maybe all the provisions you need will be given to you by Jesus. Do you want to give it a try? Yes, I want to give it a try and I know you want to. So we're going to pray and ask Jesus to come into our heart and we're going to confess all the naughty things we have done, all the bad things and ask Jesus to forgive us. When we do that, Jesus is going to forgive us and whatever need we have, whether we are sick, whatever, Jesus will serve it as long as we believe. The key statement for this lesson is Jesus is able to do all things. God bless you. Activity ages 2 to 5. Color the sick man blue. Color Jesus red. Color the four friends yellow. Activity ages 6 to 8. In the small boxes, number the pictures in the correct order as they happen in the story. Next lesson is lesson 11D titled what Jesus did for me. The memory verse for the week is found in Mark chapter 16 verse 15. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. We have a wonderful lesson this week. Welcome to the answer class. The title of our lesson this week is Reaching Out to Others. It's all about the Great Commission. And I hope all of us will be able to fulfill this while we are on earth. Now, the text for our lesson this week is taken from Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20 and Mark chapter 16 verse 14 to 20 but we're only going to read the first part Matthew 28 18 to 20 18 and Jesus came and spake unto them saying all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth 19 go ye therefore and teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. 20. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. For our little object lesson, to start this lesson, I want you to know that once you are pardoned, then you get prepared and you're going to be powerful. 
And what makes us powerful is the Holy Ghost. Once we have that, we're ready to go. So this is like the Holy Ghost. Now, these paper, these little papers are like the people we're going to win for Christ. They're little papers. Now, without the effect of the Holy Ghost and our lives, look, no attraction, nothing, nothing happened. So that one's going to go. But look, this will be the Holy Ghost. Now, let's see the effect. I'm going to create the effect of the Holy Ghost because our lives are going to attract people when we preach to them. Now, let's see. Wow, look at that. It's taken some. Look, and that's what it's like. Yes. So, we will attract a lot of people. Let's even try it a little bit more. Let's try it a little bit more. Try it even more. And watch. Look at that. Look at them hanging. That's how we will attract the right people by the when we share the gospel with them. So make sure you get filled and be ready to preach. Right. You don't have to see me for this one. We want to summarize the story. It was an amazing story where the youth pastor started getting ideas from his youth group on some things they can do as young people your age to reach out to the lost people or to people who've never heard about Jesus. And their ideas were fantastic. One, they could write um, a testimony if they were given a cre um, creative writing assignment in school. That would be a good one. Secondly, if there's a children's program, they could be able to go on social media, advertise it so that people in the community can know about it. And then also another one came up to help students who were younger, who might be facing a little bit of problem, help them and let them know that you're praying for them. Uh, this one was so good. It's about organizing in the church they belong to a, a coffee drive-through. So people will drive through, they will get coffee, but also they will give them a slip that has a portion of the scripture. Another one that came up is to visit the home for the elderly, where they can sing, pray with them, and share scriptures with them. This one was also amazing. They will be able to write handwritten letters to visitors who actually come to their churches or oh, get their addresses too. That would be amazing. And then the other one, to raise funds to send Bibles to places in the world where they can't access the Bible that easily. What wonderful ideas were that? You need to come up with your ideas too so that you can evangelize and reach out to the world. Right, this is where we go into the main activity for the lesson. They are five fantastic W's, questions that you need to answer that will make you know the importance of telling people about Jesus. Because it's so important. He that winneth souls is wise. The first one, who? Who was the first person to tell you about Sunday school? You know, who was the first person to invite you? Someone did. Someone took you there first. Also, when? When did you first know it was important to be saved? Because you know what all of us would know at some point. But there are many people who don't know. So when was the first time you knew? Where do you want to spend eternity? You know there are only two places, heaven or hell. I know it sounds scary, but I know this is the truth. You know it's the truth. So where do you want the people around you to spend eternity? A big question to answer. Why? Why do you think it's important to share the good news with your friends or the people around you? It's because their souls, they've got a never dying soul. And if we don't tell them about it, they may blame us for not telling them. And that may stop us from making heaven. And finally, what? What did you first hear in Sunday school that you'd never heard in a place before? Some of us, that was the first place we heard about Jesus. That was the first place we knew that it was good to be saved. So, everyone, children, 
please make sure you do this with all your heart and God will bless all your efforts. Thank you. Right, to wrap up our lesson, the statement I want you all to remember is that it is our job to tell others about Jesus. Please make sure you do that. And the summary of this whole lesson is, look, once we've got our Christian experiences, once we've got our salvation, sanctification and baptism of the Holy Ghost, our most important duty is to tell others about Jesus. It's important and it's urgent. So let's get doing that. God bless you. This is our activity for the week. Look at the words on, on the left and fill them in. Wish you the best. All right, next week's lesson is lesson 100 and it's titled An Individual Call. An Individual Call. Make sure you read it. It's going to be exciting. God bless you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the answer class this morning. We thank you for the primary power lesson. We just pray that, Lord, you bless us and you plant this word in our hearts so that we can obey you at all times and make heaven at last. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Bye!